From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Monday, June 19th of 2023. I'm Amy Rose, filling in for D-Ray Knight. This is what's going on. The Rapid City Fire Department reported Saturday they were dispatched to Monument Health Rapid City Hospital shortly before noon for a full structure fire response. There were reports of a fire on the second floor. Upon arrival, crews found smoke and heat in an office located within the operating room. The fire sprinkler had activated, keeping the fire at bay. Fire officials report there was heavy fire, smoke, and water damage to the area. There were no injuries, patient care was not impacted, and the fire remains under investigation. The Park Service is taking public comment on proposed boundaries for helicopter tours around Mount Rushmore. Kevin Phillips has the story. Well, the agency said from 2017 to 2019, an average of 4,000 helicopters passed by the monument every year. The Park Service said the entire memorial area experiences audible air noise anywhere from three and a half to eight hours every single day. 70% of the park experienced noise above 35 decibels. Now that's the sound level known to degrade experiences in outdoor venues. While the Park Service is solely focused on Mount Rushmore, The air tours affect the surrounding region of the Black Hills and can be heard in the wilderness area while hiking Black Elk Peak or climbing granite formations in the Wrinkled Rock area. The Park Service wants to prohibit air tours from within a half mile of the park's boundary and below 5,000 feet in altitude. The public has until tomorrow to weigh in on the air tour management plan. In national and international news, on this significant day of Juneteenth, a federal holiday dedicated to commemorating the abolition of slavery in the United States, various establishments such as businesses, post offices, and schools will be closed nationwide. The country joins together to celebrate the remarkable accomplishments of African Americans over the course of the past 158 years. Every year on June 19th, Juneteenth is observed as a reminder of the momentous occasion when General Gordon Granger of the Union Army delivered the news of deliberation to enslaved individuals in Galveston, Texas, on June 19th of 1865. Almost three years subsequent to President Abraham Lincoln's signing of the Emancipation Proclamation, which marked the official end of slavery in the U.S., Today, the black community stands united in joyous celebrations to honor this day while affirming their unwavering commitment to the ongoing struggle for equality and justice. In a potentially pivotal moment for the improvement of U.S.-China relations, Chinese leader Xi Jinping and top American diplomat Antony Blinken convened in Beijing today. Kevin, what can you tell us about this meeting and its potential impact? Well, Amy, this marks a significant occasion as Blinken becomes the first U.S. Secretary of State to visit the Chinese capital in the past five years, reflecting the increasing divergence between the global powers on various fronts. Recent events have strained relations further, including the detection of a Chinese spy balloon floating over sensitive U.S. military sites earlier this year, leading to a new lowest point in the bilateral relationship. Moreover, disagreements have arisen from Beijing's close alliance with Moscow and American efforts to restrict the sale of advanced technologies to China. While both countries have tempered expectations of a major breakthrough through Blinken's visit, the question remains as to whether their frosty relationship will exhibit any signs of thawing. Over 50 million people in the southeast face severe storms today, while nearly half a million are without power in the region. Louisiana, Florida, Alabama, and Georgia are under a slight risk of severe weather, including damaging winds, large hail, and isolated tornadoes. A reported tornado in Mississippi caused injuries and structural damage. Additionally, according to the National Weather Service, around 35 million people are under heat alerts, with residents advised to limit time outdoors and stay hydrated. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center, sunny and 91 today, overnight low 64. That was your Daily Slice for Monday, June 19th of 2023. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group, hosted by Amy Rose with Kevin Phillips, executive producer Mark Houston, engineered by Chris Jackwes. I'm Amy Rose. Have a great day.